like these. Now, Paul Davis Restoration is taking on coronavirus. The restoration business has been very busy, decontaminating and disinfecting schools, businesses, even homes. Fox 6's Ashley Sears joins us live and explains they expect to get even busier. Stephanie, the general manager here at Paul Davis Restoration, says as schools and businesses began to close, they were called to help. They're following EPA and CDC protocol to make sure spaces are clean. This is the kind of work Paul Davis restoration crews are used to doing each day. Cleaning up after fires, floods, and mold. But lately, crews have been tackling a new threat. People are hypersensitive and, and want to prepare more than usual. Damage restoration teams are taking on COVID-19, disinfecting and decontaminating schools, businesses, and homes. We have some people who were sick. They haven't been tested, but just as a precautionary, they'd like to disinfect their home. This is more than a normal house cleaning. Crews are dressed in protective gear to fight the virus. A pre-clean of the space to make sure you're knocking down any, uh, any dirt, dust that's collected. Um, on top, followed by uh, uh, electrostatic spraying of a disinfectant. Businesses just like them across the area are staying busy. The amount of calls that we've been fielding has gone up tremendously. Enviromaster Services has also seen an influx in work. And that sprayer emits a germicide that will kill colds and flus, norovirus different forms of coronaviruses. Businesses like this are committed to keeping spaces clean, stepping up to help stop a pandemic. So it's cool to have the tools to put people at ease and the staff that um, is willing to help others. And the general manager says this is similar to the type of work they did during the H1N1 outbreak. This time they are working around the clock to fight COVID-19. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Ashley Sears, Fox 6 News. Doing what they can, Ashley, thank you. With all